Hey, and welcome back. I have not filmed in forever. Life has taken over my life. Finally, after like over a week and a half, I have the chance to sit down and film, um, I guess what would be a requested eyeshadow look for you guys using orange eyeshadow because that's all I want to wear is orange eyeshadow. I had purchased the Kat Von D Serpentina palette online whenever it first got released and it came and I liked it but I wasn't in love with it and I don't keep anything that I don't love because it's money, you know? Um, the pigmentation was okay but it didn't blend how I wanted it to, not like her other shadows do. So because of that reason, I wound up returning the palette and also for the fact that I could dupe um, all but I think two of the shades in it. Because I didn't like the formula of the mattes, they weren't very good at all, and the pigmentation on the um, like the metal shadows in there, like they had to be foiled with Fix Plus. It was just too much work and I don't want to have to fight with my eyeshadow. So I returned it and I found dupes or very, very, very close similar shades, not only in um, some of my other palettes, but in the Kat Von D, the Mi, v Mi Vida Loca Remix palette that I got at Christmas, was it last year, 2015? Funny enough, the orange shadow that I really liked in the Serpentina palette is identi identical to Harpus Chord in the Mi Vida Loca Remix palette. And then the green that I liked in there was really similar to Lemmy in the same palette. And I actually liked this one better because it has a little bit more of a blue shift to it. It was just more flattering. So while that palette was pretty, I already own this and I like this one so much better. So I think in my last um, video I was wearing an orange eyeshadow and that was from the Serpentina palette but I can do the exact same thing using this one. I am wearing Opal from Becca as my highlight because it's a little bit more of a warm tone and my sweet friend Betsy from Make Up Your Mind sent me a Ginger Pop by Clinique and this is a blush that I have been lusting over for a very long time and she sent it to me so thank you Betsy I love it um so that's my blush and my lips is boldly bare lip liner from MAC topped with kinda sexy for a crease shade I'm going to use analog which is a matte orange or and it's very similar to MAC Max roll eyeshadow and I'm just gonna put this in my crease I do work a little bit at a time, so it takes me a while to build up the intensity of my eyeshadow. Um, but it's just I'm a little bit slow, but I like to work a little bit at a time. Blend that out with a little blending brush that's clean. I'm going to go into Vox with a little pencil brush. This is just a dark brown. So whatever dark brown that you have will work. And that is going to go right on my outer corner and then be blended away just to deepen up the crease a little bit. into Harpus Cord, put a whole bunch on my brush, the Kat Von D like shiny shades, they work better foiled, so I'll pick up a bunch of product on my brush, I'm going to spray it with Fix Plus.
take it a little bit above my crease, just a little bit onto the brow bone. And then going back in with analog, the orange color. A dark eyeliner, I'll place that underneath my lower lash line. And then a pencil brush and Harpus Cord, the shimmery orange, I'm gonna put on top of that. This is Lyric and it's a shimmery color. It's gonna go on my inner corner. I go into Legend, which is a yellow shimmery whatever. I'm just gonna place it in the middle of those two. Of Lyric and Harvest Gordon. I'm going to do my other eye and then put on a wing. I'm not gonna even try and use liquid liner on camera, but I'm gonna use a brown um, gel liner. So I will pause you and then I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. I finished off my other eye and I used ColourPop's Show Me Creme Gel Liner on my waterline and my mascara is just this deluxe size of their reel that I got in the Sephora Play Box. Yeah, so that's it. This is actually really, really, really simple. So it's orange in your crease, a little bit of dark on the outside just to deepen up the corner and then the shimmery orange all over the lid with a little bit of an inner corner. Max Vanilla, Kat Von D's Thunderstruck would be good. Um, like anything that you want, go on your inner corner. And then I just brought it down under my lower lash line for a little bit more of a dramatic, smoky type of look. a lot of orange but if you like orange eyeshadow and you have this palette or any oranges then maybe try it out so thank you so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day everything that I used I'm going to write down below in the description box if you have any questions leave them below and I will see you in the next one have a great day bye and I finally 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 after like a week and a half week and a half. A week and a half? I have... So that's what I'm gonna do. So if you want to see what I did, I'll probably pop up a Instagram picture or something here because it's the same look. That was really wordy. I am so sorry. Let's get started. <laughs> I, I had to look at my phone and see what I did because I did not remember. Okay. I remember now. I'm going to... Using this... It's a... It's black line from MAC, but whatever liner that you want. You can use a brown or... Whatever. I'm just gonna...